I'm Mabel John. You're watching continuing coverage of the World Healthcare Congress. And welcome to those of you joining us virtually. Right now in the studio, we have Jean Thompson, who is a director at Health City Cayman Islands, a destination healthcare company. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Mabel. Well, we checked in last year, and already we're looking at the third year of operation for Health City Cayman Islands. That's correct. What is the update? So uh, on April the 13th, we celebrated our, our third year anniversary, uh, which is exciting for us. Um, we've grown from strength to strength. Um, Health City has done some pretty dynamic, has seen some pretty dynamic growth, in, in, especially in the last year. Uh, we've now seen patients from about 60 countries. Uh, we've seen uh, upwards of 30,000 patients now. We've expanded our specialties uh, into uh, neurology and uh, neurosciences. Um, our cardiac uh, services have expanded. So things are growing very well and doing very well uh, at Health City. And, and we're, we're now starting to see real progress in reaching our, our, our forecast milestones that many people thought we'd never see. Uh, what do you think is really driving the growth? Uh, two things. Um, I mean, well, multiple things, but two, two key things is the, is the quality of care and cost. Okay. I mean, our, our cost care of care uh, is generally about a half or less of the general cost of care in this part of the world. And how do you keep those costs low? Um, you know, that, that's, it, it's, it's a, we're a protocol-based system. So everything is done on protocols and systems that were established by Dr. Shetty in India supported by our Narayana, our, our Ascension Health people here. Um, and it's, it's, we call it the sum total. There's no one thing we do. We control costs from everything from, from the way that you know, our staff work and organized to the way the, the operation runs and is organized to the way we procure equipment and materials uh, to, the, to, the, to the way that our system is, is structured in that everything is repetitive. It, we keep doing it over and over again. Okay, do you find that um people are needing different things uh, when they come to you and the recovery time from their procedures are quicker because uh, you have a different system of operation? Um, I wouldn't say that the, the recovery time is quicker or whatever. I think that what we, we actually practice a different style of healthcare and what we consider as ethical healthcare. So what we're finding is that we practice healthcare that is only actually needed. Many patients and a substantial amount of patients that come to us for a surgical procedure or for something of that nature, we actually find it's not absolutely necessary. So we'll turn them away. Our recovery time is, is good, but it's average. It's, it's generally what's, what's, what's uh, uh, you know, consistent around this part of the world. Uh, what we do find is that people are, are spending more time in Cayman recovering and they, they tag a vacation on to yeah. their, their, their care package. So really destination healthcare. No question. Do you believe that this is a trend we may see develop in other places too? You know, uh, at this conference this year, uh, we have ministers of governments from I think seven countries. All of them are looking at how can we get into this kind of destination care because I think that there is a, a path or, a, or a, actually a trend that is starting to manifest itself that people are prepared to look at alternate uh, care uh, options if they are high quality and lower cost. So we think it's something that is going to develop. There have been many discussions about, oh, you know, it's the next big thing or whatever. We're not sure we believe that, we, but we believe it's, it is an opportunity to disrupt and to change the, the current path. Mm -hmm. And where to from here, do you think? So, uh, you know, we, we actually, uh, this, this year, we actually uh, will determine in the next, our next board meeting, which is in June, our expansion plans. Uh, we plan to expand our services. We plan to, plan to expand our offerings mm -hmm. and expand the whole project. You know, we're 104 beds of our forecast 2000. So we are expecting to start some, some construction and expansion uh, next year uh, into, into more specialties. Okay, great. Well, it's always great to see you here, Jean. What do you find um, you get out of coming to this particular conference at the World Healthcare Congress? Uh, Mabel, I was actually sitting with, with a couple of the ministers of government who have, have focused and have gone to many different conferences. And, and what I say to them is if you want to learn what's happening in healthcare, and if you want to learn in a true and, and open way, this is the place to come to World Congress. And, and, uh, and they're start, they've realized that. So, uh, you know, we, we learn a lot, we touch a lot of people, we meet a lot of people, and you know, we're on the learning path as well. We don't have the answers. We're on the path that we're, we're trying to learn and absorb as much as we can. Okay, 
Okay, Gene Thompson, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, thank you very much. And thank you for sticking with us. Still more to come. We have Geisinger Health System and AARP coming up. Stay tuned.